Something that I noticed that we kind of glossed over and I want to come back to is like Team Alias versus Team Shed. Yeah, so, for sure. And what real so quick, I just want to say that this was our first mm. match that we recorded, right? And these two yeah. teams just were both overflowing with personality. Uh, I it made I me feel sad on, knowing yeah. that one of the teams uh, was gonna yeah. lose. And yeah, it, but it really you know, did. I'm gonna admit something behind the scenes. Um, I was helping Nox decide which teams we should come up against each other, and based on the personalities of everybody, I thought Alias and Shed would kind of play off each other really well. And I know they had the really full uh, energetic personalities, so they'd bounce off each other really well, they'd, they'd play off each other, they'd, they'd really kind of gel well together, um, and we'd get a great episode, which is why we, um, one of the reasons we kind of put them on first, but also outside of that I knew that I didn't want to see both of them get knocked out in the second round so because it meant that in the like, first round such, you mean yeah like in the first sorry in the first tier like going through the semi-finals I did want to see one of them go through it didn't matter which one so much as like we had some of that energy because they had such a great energy that I wanted to see some of that in the second round and just guarantee that so in a way like we could have put them on separate teams, but I really wanted, yeah, I wanted to see some of it in the semi-finals, and that was kind of one of the reasons. There were many reasons about who we put on what team, but um, that was one of the reasons that Alias and Shed ended up going against each other, because we know that we'd have at least one of them, or yeah. exactly one of them, going through to the next round. Incidentally, before we started uh, filming this season, we were actually discussing... Uh, an option of uh, seeding the teams based on a parkour challenge that they would have done during the intro videos that you guys saw about a week ago. Yeah. Um, uh. I, I'm still really addicted to that idea, but it would have given us less control over uh, who matched up against each other. And uh, we, we picked our teams for a variety of reasons, and there are some teams yeah. that just would have been less interesting to watch. And at the end of the day, it is, it is a competition, but it's also a TV show. So we wanted to give yeah. people uh, the feeling that they were watching a good match, but also that the people they were listening to were entertaining to uh, be with each other as well. And sort of like bouncing <laughs> off that idea of talking, you know, how these guys were. Uh, think about the moods these teams were in when they were in the pyramid, right? Thinking they might get trapped. Oh it is nerve-wracking. Yeah. Uh, favorite moment of the episode was the... Uh, when uh alias was in there and i think it was uh it was was anna the one that was inside the pyramid at the time i think and she just says calm down anna and she's talking to herself <laughs> and she's just freaking yeah. out she blue green blue green what i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming oh my gosh blue green okay um oh, a whole minute left all right um blue red blue red I should be this. calm god damn it calm down okay Adam. calm down okay Okay, go black, blue, red. Do it again, do it again. Uh, it's like, if you've ever uh, been in any sort of competition before, that is the uh, perfect example of how this is actually legitimately competitive. How badly these people want to win, even though they know it's just a game. Uh, they want to win because it's fun to play and it's fun to win. Uh, and... People literally shake at their computers when they play in the game show because they know uh, yeah. what's on the line. And that just, I don't know, that made me really smile, but it made me even more sad when they lost. I don't think we've had one team that hasn't had at least one person, uh, like after we stopped the cameras rolling, say, oh, I'm still shaking after that. Um, and look, to, to the team's credit, they both did really well. Like, you never know how badly or how well a team's going to perform until they actually come on but both team alias and team shed really put up a good fight and yeah, yeah and incidentally really one thing i think we can talk about since it's behind the scenes let's be real let's yeah. edit it out if we can't but uh we actually <laughs> okay. when when we recorded this uh at this time in the show we were still doing coin tosses to decide who goes first i have something new now uh, but I can't show it yet because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but we were doing coin tosses, and uh, it was the blue team that won the coin toss, and they actually chose to uh, go second, I believe, right? 
Is that the way no, that it worked? They, but it, no, they went first. It, no, they they knock switched him when he edited it. Uh, the yellow team actually went oh, first, right. and then the blue yeah. team went after them uh, and uh, ended up beating them. And he switched it because it felt more uh, dramatic if he had the yellow That's, team yeah. uh, coming out losing. And uh, he he was only able to do that because there was no dialogue in it that was more like uh, that sort of yeah. said which team had gone first. Um, and it's just another it's another interesting thing that we really didn't talk about. But you have to have that strategy going into it of what are we going to do? Are we going to get one diamond and bank it, assuming the other team might get locked in? Or are we going to go uh, balls to the wall and try to get every diamond we can and hope we don't get locked yeah, in? Uh, and, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. And don't don't get one diamond and bank it. Like people play it cautious in this game. The best the best strategy is just push it just a little bit. Just really go out and risk it. And y like you got to risk it, otherwise you will lose. Because people play it really cautious. Actually, now that you mentioned that we swapped the teams around, I remember something. My fav my favorite moment from this episode was um, because they it was swapped around and Team Shed went second. Uh, right at the very last 20 seconds of the game, we had, I don't remember which blue team member, but whoever was doing the run was standing outside blue yellow, screaming at his teammates to find... Yellow red, 30 seven. seconds left, are they gonna bank those seven diamonds and Does leave? someone get the exit door ready? Yeah, uh, gonna... yeah blue, 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 yellow, blue, yellow. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Is that mine? That was it blue, the exit yellow? Door. It was the exit it's door. blue, green. Blue yellow, blue, blue yellow. What blue is it? Where is blue it? Yellow. This could be close. Where is it? I've got it. Where I've got is it? Safe, it's on your side. Got it. Got it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, they got Jesus. it. Boom. <laughs> and they were panicking, and for like ten seconds, we were like, "Oh my god, are they gonna lose it all right here?" Because we knew that they had more diamonds, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it, it was because at first, didn't they almost decide to walk out too? But then they went to one more room, and that was what put them over the top. Uh, um, very possibly. No, very, I just, I possibly. just remember the mood in the room was just so good. And then one other thing we didn't show during the episode, uh, but or I, he might have added it in editing since I saw it. I don't know, but he did the little, uh, the little, uh, you got the money uh, <laughs> type of interchange here, where uh, he was uh -huh. standing here and he took the diamonds back from the uh, the runner in the game. It was a pretty good little sequence. No, he did that with each team. Yeah, I don't think he did. I think that's edited out. But um, yeah. there's lots of yeah, there's lots of things that get cut for time. No, I just ran back <laughs> out here because I wanted to mention that uh, this is where the uh, other team sits while the uh, team that's going is in their pyramid. So they legitimately have no clue what's going on. Uh, they stand oh, yeah. out here and play around dancing with their help bot. Uh, it's um, it's really difficult because like as a help bot, I can't actually. I can't talk in chat because that would ruin the camera's viewpoints during the episode, but I still have to kind of be funny and keep them entertained while they're out here. Um, it's, yeah, it's weird. Like, in moments like these when only one team plays the game at the time, for the first minute, they'll talk about strategy, and then for the second and um, third minute or so, they'll just kind of... <laughs> they'll just muck around. So at that point, like, they start... When the game show contestants start to get a little bit antsy, I have to, I don't know, pull a cleaver out or or <laughs> do a backflip or something. Is the cleaver still in this resource pack? It's not. I can't uh, think. Yeah, we'll have to grab back, it. Back when we were recording episode 5 and 6, there used to be a, a textured, a retextured iron sword that was a cleaver. It was great. No, it was the iron axe. Yeah. I was just waiting for and some... Had, some uh, bulldozer noises to come out of landlord over there <laughs> it's funny because you're doing the thing that you do in minecarts where you just swing your arms all around all the time and uh, it's just it looked really funny okay one last thing i wanted to mention before we uh we uh, get out of here is uh, the job jokes uh which always make an appearance and uh sometimes people don't see them but this one just it, it i feel like Knox never actually uh reads the joke <laughs> jokes before the episode because he wants to be surprised by him so in this he episode right he here really doesn't uh, <laughs> in this episode right here i did this one here 
and uh, it says, I was on a cheerleading team in, in school. We used to make pyramids all the time. And it says, Blue Butt, Blue Butt, he's our man. If he can't do it, I'll kick him in the can. And uh, Nox was reading that and just laughing hysterically while we were counting down to go into the blue team's turn. And uh, it was just, it was such a contrast because everybody was so nervous about filming this game and the results of our first episode. And Nox is just laughing like a little child. It was great. Yeah, Noxite does not, yeah, he just does not read the Job jokes until the actual night. <laughs> I mean, let's be real, sometimes I, there was one episode, actually, I'll talk about it when we do that video, but there was one episode where I realized uh, 30 seconds before we were going to start the game that I didn't have any Job jokes put in. And, oh, which uh, game was that one? Uh, I, I'll, I don't want to spoil it, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, okay tell it later but I, I ninja edited them right beforehand and i managed to reference a joke to a stupid thing that nox had just said like two minutes before oh, that yeah. yeah you know what i'm talking about now and uh, yeah, yeah that I'm was spoiling. that was pretty good as well but um yeah read the job jokes people uh, they're always in chat and uh they they make fun of nox like at least 50 percent of the time so uh <laughs> it's always good to have them uh, Job jokes get into the episode a little bit more than help about jokes do. <laughs> no Unfortunately, kidding. sad things. Yeah, because I Which, mean, yeah, you, if you most wanted... of the time you guys talk though is when we're like in between filming in the decision dome, and the Job yeah, jokes I mean... are always in the 10 second countdown, which they always show in the episode. So. Well, that's uh, the reason that we write the jokes. So hopefully enough teams have kind of recorded their their points of view. So if you want to see all the writing that myself and Noctis do for the helper bots please watch the uh please watch the contestants episodes we put in a lot of work into those little well i say a lot of work we put in work to those jokes <laughs> work there you go uh so Some yeah can you guys work. you guys think of anything else you want to hit no uh, no i think i think that's pretty good i mean for this the game was that we've the already first done. music track that i made for the show there we yeah it. let's oh. talk about your music while i have you on here the very first oh, one yeah. in season oh, no. one right I made this track like even longer before the game show. This was oh, wow. like four years. I I is on Mixcraft long, long time ago. Uh, I was just starting to figure out how to make music, and we were just yeah, game show was coming up, and we were we didn't even uh know if we were gonna do our own music at that time actually. Uh, I had to actually convince Knox in the first place to actually do the. Uh, me to make me music because at that stage i wasn't actually that great at it uh i am now so. yeah you've improved <laughs> so much Just and it's so really that. easy to yeah, hear too really... even like in the year and a half or so that i've been in the Knox crew like the stuff that you're doing for this season is especially good uh it's... yeah i'm really excited shoot, to shoot them down uh the course of that man has me grooving so hard <laughs> uh <laughs> Well, I'll yeah, include really, a link really, really to lucky. the uh, game show music in the description here, too. You guys should go check it yeah, out. Yeah, I released that sure. yesterday. Yeah. Pre-order. Yeah. If you... <laughs> there you go. Very topical. Yeah. But it yeah, is... no, oh, Pyramid. Yeah. yeah. Made that track. Oh, oh. Although, to be fair, at this right. point, it's going to be like a couple of weeks before this gets released anyway. Yeah. No, sure. But it's still uh, no. interesting that it was yesterday. So, anyways, uh, thanks a lot to yeah. Niall and Epic Landlord for coming on the show and talking about Pyramid. Yeah, thank you yeah, very much for thanks. having us. I will probably see you later for some more episodes because these are always fun to do. And I always like talking like I know the most about the game show, which is not at all true, but makes me feel smart. Well, hey, that's what acting is for, right? Uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll, I will be inviting both of you back. Uh, so until next time, I've been Avondale. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 Next season on the Nox Crew Game Show. The Nox the team of Deep Sea Blue the team of Forest interior, Lime. The team of interior designers faces some issues when they play Pyramid. Oh that'd be that'd be beautiful That's pretty good. if they did that. <laughs> Are you recording? On separate teams, but I really wanted yeah, I wanted to see some of it in the semi-finals, and that was kind of one of the reasons there were many reasons about who we put on what team but um that was one of the reasons that alias and shed ended up going against each other because we know that we'd have at least one of them 
well, yeah. exactly one of them going through to the next round. Incidentally, before we started uh, filming this season, we were actually discussing... ...would kind of play off each other really well. And I know they had the really full uh, energetic personalities. So they'd bounce off each other really well. They'd, they'd play off each other. They'd, they'd really kind of gel well together. Um, and we'd get a great episode, which is why we... Um, one of the reasons we kind of put them on first. But also... Outside of that, I knew that I didn't want to see both of them get knocked out in the second round. So, because it meant that... In the like, first they round, had you such, mean? Yeah, like, in the first, sorry, in the first tier. Like, going through the semi-finals. I did want to see one of them go through. It didn't matter which one so much as, like, we had some of that energy. Because they had such a great energy that I wanted to see some of that in the second round. And just guarantee that. So, in a way, like, we could have put them... <laughs> <laughs> something that i noticed that we kind of glossed over and i want to come back to is like team alias versus team shed yeah so, for sure and what real so quick i just want to say that this was our first mm. match that we recorded right and these two yeah. teams just were both overflowing with personality uh I, it made I me feel sad on, knowing yeah. that one of the teams uh, was going to yeah. lose, and yeah, it, but it, it really did. A, I'm going to admit something behind the scenes. Um, I was helping Nox decide which teams we should come up against each other, and based on the personalities of everybody, I thought Alias and Shed 